It was Saint John Paul II who said, Our behavior during crisis situations such as loss of job, sickness and sufferings will reveal to us our level of faith in God. Human as we are, there are times when we all doubt. We even question God and almost give up on life. The question is, do we possess a dynamic and trusting faith or is our faith static? A dynamic and trusting faith is something that matures as we go along. It gives us the strength to move on even when assailed by setbacks in life. In other words, it is sticking to my belief that God loves and cares for me in all circumstances of life, in sickness and health, in joys and sorrows. On the other hand, static faith hinders our spiritual journey. Prayers and actions of those with static faith are conditioned and shaped by what happens in their life. When things go well, they are happy. When life throws up challenges, they give up and blame God. Today's readings invite us to become people of dynamic faith. We let God act in our life at His time. We set neither conditions nor limits nor boundaries. In our first reading from the book of the prophet Habakkuk, we hear the cry of the prophet, How long, Lord, am I to cry for help while you will not listen? And in the gospel, we hear the apostles asking Jesus, Lord, increase our faith. What answer did they get? God says to the prophet, The upright man will live by his faithfulness. And to apostles, Jesus says, were your faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. In other words, we already have all the faith we need. We already have enough faith to help us overcome life's problems. We need to draw strength from the gift of faith that we already possess. Too many of us look at ourselves instead of God. We look at ourselves and say, I can't do it. I'm not strong enough, wise enough, loving enough. I do not have the money, the power or the faith to succeed at what I'm doing. And that is completely true. We are not able. We do not have what it takes when it comes to dealing with what is truly important. But God does. Do we allow God to work through our weaknesses? What St. Paul tells Timothy in our second reading is very beautiful. Paul advises him, don't look at yourself. Look at what God has given you. Get up and do something. So many of us think that dynamic and mature faith consists in our ability to obtain miracles from God. Dynamic faith is how willing we are to serve God unconditionally without counting the cost. Let us today join the apostles in asking the Lord to increase our faith. During this week, let us reflect. Do I tell God what I want and expect it immediately? Do I glorify God with my actions or do I seek recognition for myself? May God bless you. For further updates, subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.